Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing with Kali Linux. So um, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you more about mapping networks and gathering more information about them. So the best tool that we would be using as of now, till now, we have used a lot of different tools. But now I would be using something different and it would be the DNS map. So if you have gone through all my previous tutorials, then it will be quite easy for you to understand what this does exactly else else you won't be able to so what dns map tool does is that it obtains all a records a records uh, by a records i mean ip addresses that are associated to each successfully brute force subdomain and rather than just one ip address per subdomain it will gather all ip addresses through brute force techniques after that uh, it can go and abort the brute forcing process in the case uh, the target domain uses wildcards and ability it has the ability to be able to run the tool without providing a word list by using a built-in list of keywords so i don't need to actually go ahead and provide different uh, tools for them different file list for them to go ahead and brute force it has its own inbuilt uh, word supplied and brute force can also be used uh, by uh, using a user supplied word list if i have one i can also go ahead and save the results in a human readable and csv format for easy processing it has improved built-in subdomains word list and it has even new uh, bash script such as a dns map hyphen bulk uh, period sh and it is a linux format uh, it includes all of those things which allows uh, running dns map against a list of domains from a user supplied file that is br uh, brute forcing several domains in a bulk fashion by passing off signature based dns map detection by generating a proper pseudo random subdomain when checking for wildcards and this is the unique feature of uh, DNS map. So you might be wondering why uh, to use DNS map tool rather than going ahead and downloading some random other file. The reason being that DNS map is free. It's uh, it has it is useful in finding interesting remote access servers. It is also useful in finding badly configured or unpatched servers, finding new domain names which will allow you to map the non-obvious and hard to find network blocks. Sometimes you can also find that some brute force or some brute forced subdomains resolve to internal IP addresses that's RFC 1918 and this is a great as sometimes they are really up to date A records which means that it is possible to enumerate internal servers of the target organization from the internet by only using the DNS resolving and nothing else which is quite useful there so that it will not even leave a target that you have actually targeted this company and it which is actually opposite to what uh, zone transfers do for instance a dns uh, mapping can also discover embedded services configured uh, using dns uh, dynamic services so it has all of these features in total so now i would teach you how we can go ahead and use this so again the same thing applications cal linux information gathering dns analysis and we have dns map over here so you can see that I can supply my own word list if you want or the regular list file that it has already inbuilt and delay in milliseconds as to when it wants to repeat the process and these are the IPs to ignore these are the false positives and the CSV result file which I don't know what exactly it is. So I'll show you how we can go ahead and gather information. The first thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and select a target. You can go ahead and move to your pen test directory so I'll just type cd slash pen test if I have it okay I don't have the pen test directory never mind I will just start it in a random way so what I will do is I'll just type let's say DNS map google.com let's check what we get 10 uh, millisecond delay is there between different requests so that Google does not ban us out okay perfect we have the IP address and the IPv6, IPv4 and IPv6 address of the admin. The account for google.com, we have that as well. Let's check what more we get. ap.google.com, good. I believe it has lots of IPv4 ap.google.com IP addresses. This is one way of using uh, DNS mapping using a 10 milliseconds delay if i don't use the delay it i will get something else okay we have received the billing information so as you can see that all of these above uh, the dns map has scanned 
are all the subdomains of the Google along with the A records that is the IP address of Google subdomains. Now these IP addresses or IPv6 addresses are the simplest way of using DNS map. In order to perform a more deep search, there are several advanced options that we can use in DNS uh, tool. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and quit this right now and I'll show you how we can go ahead and use this. I can use the hyphen W to use the word list or I can use the hyphen R to go ahead and get the regular uh, result list that I, uh, it has inbuilt, the brute force files, uh, CSV as I told you. So examples for using these options would be something like that. If you have a custom word list of subdomains, you can use that as well as by simply specifying the hyphen W argument and then uh, the path to the word list. So you can just type DNS map. Uh, google.com hyphen w and xyz period list period txt and hyphen r slash temp slash domain bf underscore results period txt so what it will do is that it will go ahead and save all of these files under the wtxt file xyz period txt file under the the temporary uh, directory of the domain bf underscore results file and if you already have one then you don't need to go ahead and specify the w or the word list and uh, you can just simply type dns map google.com hyphen r slash tmp slash hyphen d 300 would be 3000 would be the milliseconds that it would be using and you can just go ahead and hit enter and uh, it will simply straight away go ahead and uh, use the default file and save all of these in the temp directory and there is one more method of doing that while this runs I'll go ahead and show that to you using the built-in word list as I believe hyphen r is for the built-in word list and now if you wanted to go ahead and save these things let's try it for something different let's try for microsoft.com so I'll type dns map dot com hyphen r period slash subdomain brute force underscore results period txt and I'll hit enter so what it would do is it would go ahead and create this directory and say everything inside the subdomain, subdomain brute force underscore results and it will gather all the DNS queries that it has and save it inside that so let's check if we first get these information I think the DNS query is quite slow at this point of time. That's why it's unable to get multiple requests within 10 milliseconds. Okay, we have the first IP address for 64, 416, and 215. And these IP addresses will give you an idea or hint as to what will be their range of IP addresses using in their whole company. That means uh, from where to where would be the range and what range are they using as of now so that it will be easier for you to go ahead and get an access into their computers so yes this is how the dns uh, mapping looks like so enough with the uh, dns stuff about information gathering uh, we have several tools but just gathering information won't be enough to go ahead and attack you. I will also be showing you the dns r even num6 tracer dns walk and fears and I have shown you all of these things remaining but I will be showing you these in the next tutorial and as of now I would be starting with uh, social engineering and how you can go ahead and create your own keylogger or you can place one that you have which is inbuilt in Cal Linux and Cal Linux has n number of uh, let me just show it out to you rather than saying it out it would be the interpreter command so it would be uh, metasploit so I'll just type msf console so you can see it for yourself that uh, the number of payloads or the number of viruses uh, including trojans or uh, hacking into someone's webcam gathering information remotely through meterpreter command or opening a, an SSH command file command prompt uh, from anyone else's computer on your computer uh, or PowerShell command you can also go ahead and do these things just by using the metasploit console so let's go ahead and check this out first how many payloads we have, how many viruses we have in built and it does not only have trojans or viruses for windows computer we can also go ahead and use these to hack into another one's a linux distribution or a mac distribution as well 
it install it can take quite a bit of time depending upon the speed of your processor okay perfect so we have a total of 1389 exploits out of which 788 are auxiliary and 233 are post auxiliary means the viruses which we need to go ahead and implement before we go ahead and hack into the pc and 223 are the ones that we uh, get after we go ahead and uh, hack into the pc I, uh, with that i mean that let's say once you have gained access to someone else's computer but you don't have the system access the root access at that point of time we need to go ahead and use the two the remaining some of the remaining out of these 223 posts and we have the payloads a total of 37 out of which 8 are knobs and 37 are encoded so yes and if you want to gather the whole version you can still download the whole version over here at rapid7.com the, the people who are developing metasploit so that would be it for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll be starting with social engineering and stuff and how we can go ahead and create phishing web pages that i showed you in one of my previous tutorials i would be creating that live and i'll be showing you how we can go ahead and create that manually